Hi, for today's tour done guys, the contents of this olive green bag. We have in here the 9S469M indicator for Lichtrungen in German, which means uh, light interference indicator. It is uh, an accessory for the uh, 9K111 Fagot anti-tank rocket. It is an option, uh, optional part you can use with the launcher apparently to uh, indicate uh, light interference by the means of a sound signal in the launcher. It is uh, the, the launcher uh, will uh, remote control the uh, rocket with uh, wire and uh, track it with infrared. So uh, first here is what the Launcher looks like. And for more information about uh, all this uh, system, you should uh, check the link down below where uh, uh, more detailed information is available. It is the only place on the web, anyway, where you can find information about this thing. So now let's open the bag. Actually, I did already show this device in all the video on my channel, but without taking it apart. On the old video, which I will link also in the description, you can see the wooden crate in which it is stored normally. On the second battery, because I have two batteries, so here is what it looks like. And in the bag, we also have uh, an opened cable from 14th December of 1988 so this bag was never opened but I did just see actually the solder did crack so let's have a look at it anyway there is a little bag of uh, moisture uh, absorbing crystals which I silica gel which I guess is not good anymore and we have actually what seems to be a free plugs so you can see how it is wrapped in a some kind of cloth so I guess we have two connectors here which are similar and actually the thing is already moldy so let's undo unwrap it and have a look at it for the first time ever because I did never open this bag previously the device I did take it apart but uh, one time maybe so what do we have in here I guess we have a plug I will probably rewrap everything more or less like it was yes we have one plug here with a device uh, number in Cyrillic. Nice uh, quality of uh, almost uh, space grade uh, Soviet plugs. I believe this one you find the same ones in uh, the uh, Soviet uh, space uh, systems. With a little cap. Okay, so it is the first one. Everything is very cold because it is coming out of my garage and it is really cold outside so this one seems a little bit bigger and there is another device also so I will wrap everything like it was no worries after the video uh, yes, bigger connector here with another number written cap also so we will see which side of the cable is supposed to connect to this module and we have one more thing here which I did not even notice previously 
is uh, where they did use this uh, yellow uh, like the tape you find into transformers and it is just a little uh, smaller size of connector very small and very cute this one for pins ok quite interesting so that is that but the main piece of course is the big module I was not able to translate this with uh, Google Translate my phone will not pick it up if someone can tell what it means, one of my uh, Russian viewers. We have... Uh, this is just a storage place for this cover when you do not use it. In fact, it is just the plug cover. So, you can see it is just a green box with uh, three buttons. One push button here, one switch, momentary switch here on one uh, two position switch here two settings here you can access under these screws and it is all the battery has the serial number 66 so which plug is supposed to come here must be this one Let's connect it for the first time ever. Here we are. Okay. Let's undo it. So you can see we still have this thing seems to be new on stock really. We still have protective papers and such. So really I found it on uh, eBay a uh, number of years ago and it was almost free if I remember correctly. It was maybe 5 or 10 euros and the, the guy had uh, a lot of them for sale. Which is quite rare to find uh, my style launcher accessories available on eBay. So this module will latch like such and will disconnect from the battery like such. We have a free pin connector here. Battery with decode. On serial number. The other battery I have. Excuse me. Just one second. Is a serial number 65. And this one has some kind of uh, cover over the connector. With uh, safety wire. But it is exactly the same, still is a plastic wrapping, as you can see. So we will open this battery in order to find out what there is. It is probably lead acid or nickel cadmium anyway. And we will open this thing in order to find out what there is inside. In fact, it is quite a fail because you can see there is a security uh, seals but you can perfectly undo the bolt on the other side and it will allow you to access to the contents without breaking the safety seal we will do it right now for the battery which we will open first because in fact I did never open this battery before so I am quite curious to find out what there is inside so as you can see I can perfectly undo the nut and it will reveal the, it will come off without breaking the factory seal. So it is quite well. So as you can see, I have quite a lot of uh, unscrewing work ahead. So I will be right back. Okay, it was very difficult because the screws are uh, at the same time rusty and uh, covered with paint. But here we are, they are all off, and uh, now I should be able to pry off the cover for the first time since 1987. I am trying at least. Probably we have some kind of a seal. Yes, most probably. So let me grab uh, 
necessary tool for it. I do not know what to expect in this thing. I hope it will not be full of leaking acid at least. I do not think so. Maybe the even dry batteries are not rechargeable. Maybe we will have nice uh, old school Soviet batteries with uh, nice uh, logos on all on the on them. So it is coming off on this side a little bit. It is really well stuck in place by the way. Seems like it is glued more or less. Okay, yes, it is more or less glued. But it is coming off and I see a nice... Uh, what seems to be nicely made at least. As you can expect for this grade of equipment. <clears throat> it is not easy to pry out because it is very... Uh, tight fit, but at least I do not see any leak or anything, it is good. I must do it one little bit at a time. I was not expecting such uh, extra difficulties after the uh, extremely hard to remove screws. Looks like the bottom part here is made with some kind of uh, composite material. Oh no, maybe it is just uh, aluminium. Okay, what it looks like, we might have more screws. Excuse me. At least there is no leak or anything, it is good. Okay, yes, super tight fit. Okay, so, and it gives no more information. Except uh, we have a nice uh, green color on the aluminum cover here. And uh, seems uh, we have two covers at the ends that uh, might unscrew with uh, Spanner screwdriver. Probably there is a long uh, thread all the way to the other side. So this one uh, will need a special tool. This one should be able to do it. There is some kind of foam here. This one also. Yes, it is coming out. So let me grab uh, maybe with this old uh, mobile phone opening tool kit I will be able because there is this kind of tool in this. If you do this one as you can see the uh, thread is coming too far and I cannot uh, use a regular screwdriver. Yes, it is good. Okay. But it is not uh, really tight by the way. So now I should be able to undo the yes. And it looks very much like nickel cadmium cells. Here they are, as you can see. Some insulator piece. And probably nickel cadmium cells all the way along. So this thing is Install like so. Don't let me undo the other side. Really nice uh, job, by the way, this thing. I have no idea of what to expect. And uh, in fact, the suspense has been killing me for years. I always wanted to know what there was in this battery, but I was a little bit scared of opening it. Apparently it is not really not too bad. So, 
So, one more amp. Let's lock up there. And yes, we have the wires coming from the uh, connector here. Just going to the cells, which it seems they are spot welded. I would like to push out of the way one of them completely, but it looks like they will not move at all anyway. So it is not necessary to do extra damage here. They are probably glued to the uh, foam piece here. Maybe the foam piece is actually even uh, made around them, not sure. And uh, if they will reveal any uh, extra information. But yes, they are really stuck in place, so we'll not uh, do anything else here. But it is interesting to note how it is made. Okay, so I will uh, tediously put this back together and then we will be able to have a look at the main unit. Okay, so the battery is back together. It was almost uh, tedious the same way than uh, taking it apart, but it is done. There is a little uh, plug here that has been covered. I do not know if it is for filling with a foam or something like this with OTK quality stamp on it. Behind this plug I believe we will just have the three wires going to the batteries themselves. So the screws to the main unit itself were a lot easier to undo. And I am now ready to remove that cover and reveal the contents. So we can expect to have mill grade Soviet electronics, but honestly I do not remember exactly. Okay, so ah, here is what it looks like. I'm going to zoom on it in a few seconds. So you can see this uh, box here first is not uh, aluminium, this one. It is made of uh, common uh, Soviet Amberton uh, Bakelite. Uh, you can see the switch and the plug wires here. Very nicely uh, tied together and glued with some kind of uh, epoxy. The other switch is here. Everything goes to one single wire loom here to this PCB. So on this side we have the plug to the battery, which is conveniently completely sealed, hermetically sealed. There is a seal of course here all around. Two power transistors mounted to the metal base for it sinking. You can see this part is really like new, by the way, in really nice condition. It is a new all stock device, I, I know, but really nice. So we have one big toroidal transformer in a potting compound, some uh, ID number on it here, and nothing special. Uh, on this board, speaking about components, really regular uh, Soviet. Maybe this uh, is not too common. These things orange here, they are diodes, I believe, but not the models you see every day. Here you have a regular um, red Soviet resistors, regular mill grade hermetic capacitors, some uh, probably op amp here in a can. These are not common, seems to be uh, ceramic multilayer capacitors like SMD capacitors but mounted on the side with uh, legs and actually mounted through all. Not something you see every day, I believe it is the first time I see it in Soviet electronics. Uh, glass body uh, germanium diodes here. Little diodes here and little standoffs, you can see them better at this level. 
I believe they are just diodes, but they are very small, like a little drop, and uh, with two very thin legs. And they did actually uh, place some piece of plastic under them and glue everything together, as you can see with this white uh, epoxy glue or something. This can here, I was thinking about a relay, but not, it is just a big capacitor in a, in a can. More uh, round up amps. I am spotting more <coughs> of these uh, orange uh, things, probably diodes. And this is weird because these are not Soviet components, these resistors here. I believe they must be either East German or Polish or something like this, but not. Uh, they are not the regular Soviet uh, flavor at least. And uh, I see. Uh, Yes, the lettering is not Cyrillic on them. So it is interesting. These are, of course, the regular Soviet resistors. The two trim pots here can be reached from the outside for the, these holes to adjust the thing. And I see on the other side, actually, we have more stuff. Can you see? We have... Let me figure out if I can undo easily yes so I will be right back so I am one screw away of removing completely the PCB and actually it is a weird design because there is this little uh, Umberton standoffs at the bottom which will come loose when you undo the screw so it will be quite tedious to put back together as you can see but this thing is only made of tedious so it is not a big deal I did just notice here some uh, surface mount ceramic capacitors and it is raining outside very hard so let's reveal the other side one more of them by the way of this PCB for the first time in uh, since uh, 1988 it seems we have this uh, uh, what seems to be 5% tolerance resistors of uh, random value 2.4 mega ohms uh, 6.2 mega ohms and this one is 30 mega ohms and it is very shiny and gives a poor result on the camera okay we can at the same time have a look at the tracks of the PCB and everything has uh, EV conformal coating as you could expect the base of the module is made with this uh, die-cast aluminium piece. We have the two transistors here and nothing else except one more standoff or spacer as you want. A uh, little bit of a uh, number here, not sure what it means. And it is all. Okay. So, not a big deal of electronics in this thing. Very nice electronics, but not. Uh, no hybrids, no uh, integrated circuit except for the up amps. So it is uh, detecting on uh, some kind of uh, light interference and uh, triggering uh, a signal to the uh, man in charge of firing the rocket. Uh, there is a weird part here I did just spot four legs. Looks like a little bit of uh, either an autocoupler or a, a diode bridge, not sure. Very nice, uh, oops, here. Glass body, uh, germanium diode with a contact point diode. Let me try to zoom. In fact, I will zoom in for you on the PCB as much as I can. It will be like so. So you can have a good look at all the parts. Resistor here, the up amp, this weird orange diodes, the big toroidal uh, transformer, and how it is attached to the PCB with legs, more diodes, the trim pots, your fancy capacitors, more the pumps and the big can capacitor a more grey uh, unknown origin diodes, more vertically mounted and through all 
Multilayer Ceramics, Safing Overside, Your Q Power Transistors, Ear of the Same Kind, and the uh, Sealed Pass Through to the Connector Ear. Ear, your regular uh, Soviet switches. Nothing special here. And a very nice uh, Amberton material. Okay, focus please. Thanks. So, now I am uh, signing up for a tedious reassembly of everything. I hope you did enjoy this uh, teardown of uh, uh, Soviet uh, anti-tank rocket grade electronics. Not everything you see it, by the way. And I am quite proud of this uh, little piece I have. Quite a nice collectible item. So I will reassemble everything meticulously and put it back in storage. So thanks for watching. Bye bye.